career. And here's the thing about it. I know you may be saying, Rodney, that's scary. Yes, but, but what's scary? Not controlling your future? Listen, my phone's trying to go off right now. I can't talk right now. I got people I got to talk to, okay? Here's, here's what I'm trying to share with you. Listen, right now, there's opportunities where right now you can start being your own boss. And I never will forget it. I, I, listen, I'm gonna tell you the story. I gotta tell you this. I never will forget I was working for this organization. And when I was working for this organization, I, I was like, hey, you know what? I was like, I, I want to raise. That was my thing. I was like, I, I want to raise. I just, Vic, Victoria, I felt like I deserved a raise. <laughs> I was like, hey, I need a raise around here. And so I never will forget, I went and asked them for a raise. And guess what? The, 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 the person who was in charge, he was really nice. He says, okay, great, prepare. He says, prepare a, um, prepare a proposal and we're gonna submit it to the board and let the board make a decision. So the board made their decision after looking over everything and they came back and they gave me the verdict. And the verdict was, no, we're not giving no raise and no, we, we're not gonna give you this added responsibility. At the time I was like, hey, listen, I wanna learn the skill of grant writing. I wanna come back and write some grants for this organization. Lisa, they said no. <laughs> so guess what? They voted and guess what I did? I had to vote too. I had to say, you know what? I'm gonna vote to leave. This is what I did, listen, this is what I did. <laughs> That's what I did. I, I made a decision to leave, why? Because here's the thing, and here's what I want you to, to hear. If you don't hear anything else, you don't have to ask for permission from someone else to do what's in your rightful jurisdiction to do. Did you hear what I just said? I, I don't know who this young lady is over here, but I want to talk to her. The one that got a hand right. Yeah, that's your, yeah, yeah, Hello, your <laughs> Gabrielle. Yeah, Gabrielle, I'm talking to you right now. Listen, you don't have to wait for someone else to give you permission to do what's already in your rightful jurisdiction to do. What I'm sharing with you today that I'm gonna encourage you to do is to take matters into your own hands. And that's exactly what I did. Was it a challenge? Yes, it was a challenge, but guess what? What was I gonna do? Stay there and die on the inside? So many people settle by staying where they're at doing the same old, same old, when life sometimes is trying to kick you out the net. You hear what I just said? <laughs> yeah, I just put you in a, I just put, Nicole, I just put you in a nest and, and I'm saying that nest is a nest. Let me talk to, let me talk to, 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 to Malik. Malik, it's like a nest and that nest is like eggs are in the nest and then eventually the eggs hatch and eventually, you know what? It's time to get those eggs out so they can, those little chick, those little, those little eagles, it's time to fly. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta stop waiting for mama eagle to just come in. Oh, mama eagle, where you at? Come and give me some more food. Okay. It, eventually that nest gets crowded and you have to get out of the nest and take matters into your own hands. And so that's what I decided to do. So here's what I'm gonna say. There's a young man right now, some of you may have seen him on, um, on LinkedIn. He's, he's been a member of GFIC. Uh, Timothy, I never forget, Timothy lost his job at the beginning of this pandemic. He lost his job. And guess what he did? He decided to give himself an opportunity. Where did the opportunity come from? It didn't come from somewhere else. He took matters into his own hands and he hired himself. So here's what I'm saying to you. And for every one of you here, that may not be your option, but I'm just trying to, trying to let you know that there are are different options. It doesn't always have to come through the traditional means that you may currently be looking at. Here's what I know as a fact. Many of you know that I have the Grant Writers Association, over 14,000 members in that LinkedIn group. If you're not there, go join us, hang out with us. That's absolutely free. With that allows me to connect and interact with people literally all over the world. Do you know there was a lady in Australia that reached out to me and she was like, hey, I'm thinking about doing some business in the States, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to hear what I'm saying. This lady is in Australia and because of technology now, she's saying, hey, I can use my computer, be in Australia and do work in the States. She's seeing the opportunities in the States and she's willing to take advantage of it, okay? That did not exist 20 years ago. 
So what I'm saying is you now have the power to take on that opportunity. And guess what? Boy, if this is not fate or what, here's the thing. I believe uh, Timothy has just entered into the building. In fact, I'm looking at right now. It looks like Timothy is here. Hopefully, hopefully he's here because I'm going to have Timothy talk to you himself if he's able to come on in and, uh, and join us as I'm adding people here. But I want you to hear this. People from other countries are working and taking advantage of the opportunities that exist as a grant professional here. Timothy, if you're there, I see that you just popped in. I just got through talking about you just a second ago. So will you please unmute your microphone? And, and if you can hear me, uh, I, I'm, I want you to say have some words real quickly. And guys, just in case, <laughs> I'm gonna let him come on in and, and talk for himself. Um, let's see if, if Tim can can open up and say something. Tim, can you can you unmute your mic and say something? Okay, maybe I got three or four Tims in here. Let's see. It looks like he's muted. Let's see if I can unmute. <laughs> uh, Tim, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Listen, man, I got four or five Tims in here. Which which one am I talking to right here? Dude, you I'm like multiple man. man. I just cloned myself. Tim, I just got through talking about you literally two minutes ago, and and here's what I, here's what I said. I, I talked about you taking advantage of the opportunity. And I said, there was this guy named Tim. I said, he lost his job at the beginning of the, at the, beginning of the whole pandemic. And then I told him how you gave yourself an opportunity. Will you, let me let you talk for yourself. And would you please let everybody know that <laughs> this wasn't planned? Okay. So thank you so much for the opportunity just to speak briefly and just share my testimony. Um, so to those who are on the call, my name is Tim Butler. I'm the founder and CEO of Freelance Soul Professional Services. Sorry, there's a major echo. Hang on, let me fix that. <laughs> I don't know if I can or whatever. Okay, we'll keep going. All right, so Freelance Soul Professional Services, it's a black owned um, fundraising, grant writing and consulting firm in Tulsa, Oklahoma, historic Black Wall Street. So let me get to how um, Rodney's program has helped me. Last year, hey, Tim, probably around do me November. A favor, Tim, Tim, do me a favor. Don't even talk about my program because this ain't this is I want people to know this is not about me. I want I want to talk about you and how you took advantage of the opportunities that exist. So this is not about me. And I want people to know this is not about riding it. This is about the opportunity. So will you talk from that standpoint, please? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So essentially. I lost my good job at the beginning of the pandemic, primarily when it touched down here in Tulsa in March. I literally lost my job as a manager overnight um, in the midst of the pandemic. So losing half of my household income with a pregnant wife and a daughter, um, needless to say, the struggle was real. Um, I had a choice because I had very few options. I would either just stay with my back against the wall and lay down and die, or I would come out swinging. Well, I'm a little country boy from Mississippi, and my mama said, what well, don't kill you make you stronger. So I decided to just trust God, uh, release my faith, and move full speed ahead with the vision he'd given me to expand my grant writing business. And so I did just that. And um, with all of that being said, it was not easy. I got on my grind. I busted my hub trying to recruit clients, uh, trying to learn while building my brand, while expanding my brand, while trying to be mentored and get out all of my tax info together, and you name it, the whole nine. But I'm here to say that it, the, the change was worth it. I cleared $5,000 in sales last month alone. And for November, I'm about to hit 10. Awesome. I hadn't made that kind of money working for anybody in that short period of time as an employee ever. So we're talking about going from making a modest salary, working 40 plus hours in a given week to just working on my own terms from home as a freelance grant writer in two months, 
$15,000. I don't think it takes a whiz to be able to see that this is a game changing um, opportunity. And you would think that because we're in the midst of a pandemic and things are crazy out here that um, you know people are shutting down companies and all of that, but there's such a, a shift that's taking place with grant writing and also with just the remote work industry in general because of COVID that if you don't jump on this train while it's moving, you are going to get left behind. I ain't telling y'all something that I heard somebody else say. I'm telling you what I know, what happened for me. And I'm not the smartest dude that's out there, but because I dare to believe and I dare to put my faith out there and pray and trust God and work hard at my dream, here we are several months later, this thing is coming to a, a, a fruition or reality to the point I am now making more money than both my wife and I combined in a relatively short period of time. And I wanna thank Rodney and, and, and just the opportunities for him being so transparent and sharing the things that he knows because I feel that this was a divine connection and I feel like Jesus put us together so that we can just learn from each other, especially me learning so much that he has to offer. Whatever Grant Central USA sells you know, or he has to offer, buy it, buy it, buy it. It is worth okay. it. Sorry, Let you said he didn't right don't, don't put him out man, there, but I, I'm telling I you. I am so proud of you because I, I want people to know that I didn't know you were gonna be here. I'm so glad that you were. And I am even more ecstatic to hear the, tr this is my first time hearing this myself. And so I am so happy to see what's happened with your business. That's amazing. And it just goes to show that it's possible. And for, if for nothing else, if you get nothing else in our time of day to see that this opportunity is that it is possible. And that's what I want to communicate.